By a show of hands, who, who likes to clean guns? I figured you would. So I think, there's, I think there's two types of people. People who like to clean guns and people who don't like to clean guns but have to do it. There's one. I'm, I'm one that actually likes to clean guns. I actually enjoy it. And you know, cleaning the gun is like washing your car. There's some people that will drive their car through a car wash, right? And it gets the car clean. And they'll have somebody vacuum it out and clean it. Then there's other people that like to do it at home, get the bucket, get the chamois, they have a special kind of soap and they clean the inside and they put armor all around the wheels and everything. So we have gun cleaning styles for both the kinds of people. For people who want to clean it quickly but get the job done or for people who want to clean the gun and really do a good cleaning job. So we still make those, we still make the gun cleaning kits that, that you've probably grown up with that, that provide all the jags and the brushes tornado brushes and all the traditional swabs and everything to clean a gun. And it comes with a rod, this particular kit, and you probably remember you just twist the rods together, put the jag on the end, clean the gun, and do it that way. So it's very convenient in terms of portability, and it does a great job of cleaning your gun. We also make an elite cleaning rod and it's a, it's a one-piece rod that comes with a handle. And what's unique about this is you just buy the handle and the rod once. This rod does not come apart, so there's no seams in here. So when you're taking it down the barrel of your gun, there's no chance that that little seam might hurt the rifling. So it's a one-piece stainless steel rod with a handle that goes on the end. And what you do is you buy different uh, barrel lengths, so whether it's a rifle or a handgun, or you buy different barrel or uh, diameters. So that for a thicker barrel, obviously, for a bigger barrel, and for a smaller barrel, then you just only buy the handle once, and then it just attaches to that. And then, of course, it just has all the attachments that you have to buy. They'll fit the end of this, and you can clean your gun that way. Okay, so that's kind of the traditional way to do it. The new way to do it is with a Hoppy's Boar Snake. And some of you saw me out there on the range with the 22 cleaning the rifle with the Hoppy's Boar Snake. So it's made up of a couple of different pieces. On the end, this lead piece will tell you the caliber. So when you buy it, it's on the package. And this particular one is for a 270, 284, 280. And so it's stamped on there so you can see it, you get the right one in there. So the rod goes, or the, uh, the metal piece goes down the barrel, you pull it out and you pull it through and that cleans the gun. Now, the way we do it is a couple different ways. It has a bristle cleaning piece on it here that we want to soak with gun cleaner. We're going to use the new uh, Boar Snake Venom so we get the gun cleaner. And we're going to soak that piece right there because that's the piece that's going to scour it as it goes through. So we'll get it, won't hurt the table here any, any bit, but we'll soak it on there real good. And the other way I like to do it is, and we have this in a spray, is to take the cleaner and get it down the barrel. So this one's pretty easy because I can squirt it right down there, squirt a little bit down the other end, and get it back and forth in there real good. Now I like to set it for about 15 minutes so that the cleaner can break down the, all the carbon and everything on the inside. We don't have time to do that. We're going to go ahead and clean it. So we've soaked that pretty good. Then we want to take this little metal piece and take it down. We always want to make sure that we start at the action side so when we're pulling it out, all the fouling comes out the end of the barrel. We don't want to pull it back into the action. So it's really easy because the weight pulls it down. And we grab that end, make sure that it's ready to go. And we pull it out. And you can already start to see that the fouling and the carbon is already starting to pull it out. And it's already starting to get it on the boar snake. So we're gonna do that one more time. Make sure it's nice and clean. Down it goes. And pull it out. 
Okay, so then after that's done, the next stage would be to take gun oil. And we're going to use the new Hoppy's Boar Snake, Boar Snake Venom. And the same thing, I'm going to take a little bit of gun oil and get it down in there. A little bit more in there. And then I like to put it on the very back end of this handle. So we get a little bit on there because that's the last piece that we're going to pull through. So we got a little bit of gun oil. Again, I like to let that gun oil soak into the pores. A little bit so that it's sticking to the inside of the barrel real good and then we'll just pull it through one last time so it's going to clean it one more time because the bristles in front of where the oil is on the back of the boar snake and then we're done you can drop a couple more drops of oil if you want to put it in here as you set it in your gun safe uh, this is non-toxic, uh, biodegradable, uh, it's not, it doesn't have any harsh chemicals in it. So if it does get down in the action, or if you have a wood stock, it's not going to damage it at all. In fact, I take Hoppy's, uh, the Hoppy's Elite Gun Oil and put it right on the wood stock of my gun. Because it's good oil and won't hurt it at all. Now we have a new product called the Hoppy's Boar Snake Venom. And what's different about this, instead of having one bristle, cleaning bristle, it's got three on the end. And so I'll pass that around so you guys can take a look at it. So it's got 50% more cleaning power than the, uh, than the regular boar snake, but it works in just the same way. And that's how we clean our guns.